Is Vivek Ranadive a good owner? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> no, I mean it that's, is. No, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's a perfectly fair answer. We've yeah. we've tried to lay out the pros and the cons as to why he is and where his shortcomings are. Yeah, I mean financially, he's fully invested. What he's mm-hmm. done with the downtown area is just amazing, and some of that is city money, but a lot of that was his money and other owners' money, and you know, so he has done some amazing things downtown. Um, you know, he is fully invested when it comes to the team. This is while they aren't the highest payroll in the NBA, the Kings, you know, put up a hundred, I think $131 million payroll last year. Mm -hmm. It's more than twice of what the Maloofs were putting in their last couple of years with the team. And of course the salary cap has gone up and the television money went up. Um, but he, he has put his money, you know, into the product. Um, but, you know, that's not what being an owner is about. That's not just what it's being about. I'd even say, like, his his messaging, his social media, I mean, I mean his uh, social justice stuff, um, you know, he, he seems like in a lot of ways he's on the right side of history. Mm-hmm. Um, but when it comes to being a, just straight up an owner, if one of the other, you know, 35 owners that are part owners in that team were to take over, is there a possibility things would be different? Yeah. Is there a possibility they would have won sooner? Sure. So, yeah, I, I mean, I think that that's like you're a coach gets judged by his wins and losses. Players make all-star teams or don't make all-star teams by wins and losses. And then I think owners, you know, they kind of get off the hook here when it comes to wins and losses. And in the last nine years, the team hasn't been good. And, uh, you know, part of that blame, a good portion of that blame belongs on – on Vivek specifically in his handling of, of coaches, his handling of uh, of front office personnel, everything. So mm-hmm. yeah, I, it's it's fifty fifty. I don't know. <laughs> I came to the conclusion, James, that I can't call him a good owner because, to your point, the record matters. 